Hey guys, my name is Russian Badger, and the first thing that I need to tell you about is a video made by Jake Heiser, whose name is secretly Jake Weiser because he's wiser than everyone else. But I gave him a challenge, and it was I was half trolling at the time, like you mad bra problem, you jelly type deal, and I said, okay, this is what you should do for a gameplay. You should only crouch walk everywhere, and once you start shooting, you can't stop shooting until you run out of bullets. And he actually did it. He did it with a saw, and I will leave a link in the description to that video. It is hilarious, if you ask me. He is just the biggest MLG pro. He is just so elite. Like, I think that I'm elite because right now, you know, I'm being elite bush monster snipsoar. And if you like me to spell that for you, I believe it is... That would be 1337 snipsoar. So that would be S... No, it would be money sign N exclamation point P 3R. Yes, elite snipsoar. And... I'm also using a four time scope because that's what that's what all the cool kids do, right? That's that's what's hip to be square. I love that song so much, I cannot get it out of my head. It, it's just so good. It's just Huey Lewis in the news. Just you know, so hip to be square. Dun, 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 dun. No, you don't know the song that I'm talking about. You probably don't know the song that I'm talking about. And if I miss you with the quick scope, skaboom, quick poke, look at that guy. Oh man. And, yes, the reason that I call it a quick poke, that was a moderately no-scope-esque type deal, but I call it quick poking because you have to be close enough, if you're going to get body shots at least, to really poke them. I mean, the real range and no-scope! Oh, right in your face, Russian medic. How does that feel? He's secretly Fred Durst, but I'll touch on the whole Fred Durst, Limp Biscuit rolling. Oh, what else is Limp Biscuit? Limp Biscuit is just the goofiest band. It's like, you guys are a bunch of smarmy gypsies. I don't even know what... Limp Biscuit is all about, but I thought that tank was going to turn in to try to go over to B and try to defuse the objective, but I guess not. I guess he's going to take some other catfish route that involved him not running over my C4, but I guess that's well played on his part, technically. But Yes, I do call it quick poking because the range of the body shot, one shot, body shot kill of the bolt action snipers is pretty short. With the exception of the M95, the M95 is absolutely beastly, if you ask me. That is like a Tomahawk missile in a in a rifle, and it's a little bit goofy. It's like, how did I just kill you from that range with a body shot? That's a little goofy, but yet again, wall hacks. Yes, wall hacks, motion sensors. Oh, right in your face, man. Ouch. Okay, it wasn't a headshot, technically, but he did die with one shot, right? But this guy, pow, right in the kisser. No, no, but... You might think the joke's on him, but secretly the joke's on him. Oh, get him with a big iron on my hip. And yes, I just did platinum that, so now I have to, I have to use marshmallows until I platinum that. It's going to be a little bit a little bit annoying, if you ask me. But he got revived. Now look at this guy. You ready? Skadoosh! Oh, right in your face again. Ouch. Ouch. And you have a very racist name, so you really, re you really do res... I almost, I almost said reserve. You reserve. No, you clearly deserve to get shot in the face multiple times because I don't approve of your conduct of your racist name. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that to an end. And it's moderately difficult to kind of understand, but, you know, from that range, there's nothing you can do about it. You can hit him in the kneecaps, and unless you're going to get a headshot from that range, it's really difficult under that quick, quick circumstance. Like, you have a split second to shoot me in the face if I'm the Russian medic that just shot me, or else I'm going to totally exterminate you. And you, you see, you get a lot of hit markers from ranges like that at fairly... I mean, they're, they're fairly close, but they're fairly... I mean, it's like a middle distance where you don't know whether or not you're going to get a hit marker. How is that a hit marker? Please tell me. Please tell me, but I'm still going to get you right in the chest with the, with the big iron. That's not going to... That's not going to deter me. And coming all the way around... And I thought... I thought... I thought I was going to die right here, but see the serpentine pattern, it rules all, and then I see, you know what, what is this rock monster doing all the way up here? Well, I can actually put an end to this little treachery that's going on over here, your kung fu treachery, boom, right in your face. Oh, that was a little bit premature, I'm going to admit, a little bit premature, but check out my elite marksman headshot, spelled 1337, because I'm that elite, and... So wait for it, wait for it. You're going to have to wait for it because there's like this suspense that has to be built up, but then sometimes you totally go way short of a tank. But look what happens here. Goofiest thing ever. Look, I toss this, I accidentally stick it on a quad. Boom! Oh, man! That was a good accident. 
I would be, I feel sort of dirty after that. Like, ah, oh, that's so lucky that should not have happened. I just happen to get a lucky stick of C4. Oh, I'll throw that up there, and then just all of a sudden it sticks right to a guy's mouth as he's going behind an ATV. That is just... I feel like I should feel dirty. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, it's not exactly fair if you really ask me. But it, still, the tank's not down. And it took so long. I mean, we had such an enemy... Or, like, such a, a whole team presence in the enemy spawn. I don't know why... Oh, right in the face, man. Ouch. That is just... Ugh. Sometimes I even surprise myself like this. Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh, look at that guy fall. <laughs> it always looks like the Russian medic trips. Like he didn't actually die. It's like, okay, he's, he's okay, bro. 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 He's okay. He just tripped. Just, don't worry about it, bro. He just tripped. And yet again, I have no idea how it took this long to arm this charge. We had so many guys in. Uh, boom! Oh. That's like a drag. Well, Luckily, luckily, sometimes you drag and you absolutely miss, and you look like such a Carl sometimes. Like, a, did you really miss that shot? Clear open shot. And you, there's an example of me missing a shot. But see, the big iron cleans up what the M24 does not. So, and you know what? I've almost been arguing with myself over like which is better, the 45 or the the big iron. And as you can see from range, I am so pro from range. Look at this guy. But you know what, the joke might be on me from now on, but secretly the joke's on him because are you ready? Are you ready? Skadoosh! Oh, right in your face. You hit me in the body, I hit you in the face. But then, the fun's not over, children. Are you ready? I'm gonna get Fred Durst right in the face here. Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh, man. And I hope, I don't know if you guys are too young or too old to understand that reference, but you know what, Fred Durst, also known as the Russian medic, I don't approve of your conduct because you wear a weird red hat. And this situation sort of reminded me of another gameplay that I had where I just... It's squish. I squish that guy and... Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh, look at that guy. And I had so many flashbacks on Oasis just like that. And there's one later on where it is... Slightly redonkulous, if you ask me. It's like... Oh. It's one of those moments where I just go... Are you for cereal right now? Please tell me you're not for cereal. Because... I don't understand how that even works. It's like magnets. How do they work? I don't understand how that even happened. And you will know exactly what I'm talking about once I mention that later on. But sometimes there's an absolute hit detection fail. You see, this should be a no-scope. You see? Blood just came out of your body, but give me your sandwich! Anyways. And the fun's not over at that. Now look at... I only have two shots left. I missed the quick scope, but... Give me a chicken sandwich and a bubble fries for free. And you know what the pity is? I'm jumping around too much, I'm making too much, drawing too much attention to myself, and I get shot. I am Russian medic. I push it to a limit every time, but DirecTV have no limit. 6,000 shows and movies. No, I'm not gonna... You guys know what I'm talking about though, right? The Russian guy on the... on the DirecTV network? I actually have DirecTV, and it is the best. Especially because that Russian guy is awesome. He's got that miniature giraffe. Oh, man. And coming around the back of the spawn here, it's always the best part. Or always the best thing to do, at least in my personal opinion. Because otherwise, if you go straight up, there's so many big burf of Godzilla tanks. And I thought I was going to get him in the face, but I actually just hit him in the body. But enjoy your C4, Mr. Godzilla tank. Boosh! Say goodbye. Yet again, the guy with the racist name, that's really awful, but... Oh, it's a false alarm. I thought it was going to burp, but then I didn't. It's like the marinara sauce in my dining hall. It's so awful. And then the people, the inconsiderate people at your table that never, ever pass the salt. Takes them forever to, te takes them forever to do that. Oh, right in the face. Oh, look at that guy. But it's annoying. It's like this catfish move where people in the dining hall don't pass the salt. And it's so... It's just extremely annoying, just to be blunt. And... I always find it funny whenever people try to hit other people like it's an anti-infantry gun, the AA gun is, they always try to do it or use it in that specific method, I don't even know why they even try that, it, except for the VADs, the VADs is ridiculous, it's like they always use it as anti-infantry, oh right in the face man, and you know what the thing is, that's sort of frustrating because you see how long it took for his name to come up on the kill feed, so I wasted two other shots and boom, oh quick poked man, and Pow, right in the kisser, Russian medic. How does that feel? 
This reminded me of the moment. This is the building. You ready? I don't approve of your conduct. Give me your sandwich. <laughs> oh, man. That, that is ridiculous. The fact that you can absolutely, like, teleport. I, I did not even touch the ladder. I just somehow stuck my knife in the back of that bush monster's back. And I just climbed up like it was an ice pick. It's like I'm, def it's like I'm defying the laws of gravity. But then again, I think we all know that the cake is a lie when it comes to gravity. Because if you really think about it... Okay, let's think about this. You know the law of gravity? Oh, I get this guy with a big iron. Technically, it would say that what goes up must come down, right? That's basically what the law of gravity means. What goes up must come down. But many people go up Everest, but not all of them come down. Let that marinate in your brain for a few seconds. Did I just make... You know what? I bet bits of your brain are just exploded all over the room because I just blew your mind. It's like a mind grenade. Maybe I just absolutely destroyed the laws of physics. Maybe I just absolutely owned them. Like 360 no-scoped any kind of physics lesson that you've ever taken before. Well, not really because we all know that the law of gravity is true seeing as it's a law. But anyways, I saw this Russian medic out of the corner of my eye. I'm not going to go for him first. Get this guy. Check out the fence bang with the wall. Big iron. Oh, man. Coming all the way around. And I see one more guy around the corner here. And I miss him with that. Give me a sandwich. And the thing is, I was sprinting. And as soon as you stop sprinting on consoles, it's sort of awkward to bust out the knife. It's like a delayed reaction. And, oh, look at that guy's name. I am most interesting man in history of world. I have cousin in Ukraine. Give me all of your monies or I shoot you in face. I always feel like the Russian guy has some kind of some kind of Ukrainian oh right in the face, man. Oh, I always feel like the Russian guy, and that's revenge by the way. I always feel like he's going to say something to me as soon as I run into him, because I always have awkward situations with Russian medics where I'm I accidentally like sprinted up a flight of stairs and accidentally just got way too close to them and I didn't knife. It's just like an awkward situation. I feel like he's just gonna say like, "You are dead." Not big surprise. Or he has he, like named his PKM Sasha or Natasha or something like that. And yes, I'm rolling around in my big Burfa tank and it's moderately effective. But eventually they catch on to my gypsy tricks, which is not always great because I can be sort of a catfish sometimes in my tanks, but. Pow! Right in the kisser. And the joke's on him. The, t the trick is, as soon as he's about to blow up your tank, you jump out and you quick scope him in the face. But secretly, the trick is, it's not quick scoping, it's quick poking. Because, I mean, if you're quick scoping it, boom! But look at this gab fest down here. So many chatty catsies hanging out in this garage. But they're also MLG pros. Check me out, bro. I crouch walk everywhere and I shoot my RPGs before I even take it out. Look at that guy. And you ready? You ready? No scope motion sensor throw. Where are you at, Enigma? I've never seen you do that. I don't think I've ever seen Mass Death do that either, so. Oh, boom, give me your sandwich. But the thing is, I did not think I was going to get that guy. You know whenever you swipe, it's like, wow, I just swiped that guy and I kill him because you always think the swipe is going to lose or going to fail. I get hit with a grenade by a bush, yes, it was a bush monster using MK2. Okay, I hit the tree, I hit the bush, I don't get him with C4, so I just say, I don't approve of your conduct. Give me your sandwich. And this was a shame. I got stuck on the tree, so I didn't throw my C4 far enough, and I couldn't destroy the tank. That's a sob story. And a grenade's not going to do that. That's absolutely awful. But the thing is, there is a huge gap fest going on at this roof over here, so I said, Boom! Oh, I missed the first time, but I will not miss the second time. Right in your mouth. Oh, man, that must hurt. That must hurt severely. And a little bit of fast-forwarding here, because it took forever. Because I... A part of me wanted to rush all the way forward, but then the other half was like, You know what? Brah, brah, brah. That is a stupid idea. And boom! Oh, but... You see, whenever I'm reloading the bolt action, I couldn't even see. And that was... Wow, that was some lead hacks. I don't know what the frame rate happened. There, but I, I was always torn between rushing all the way forward or staying back because they like to lurk around our spawn and Pow! Look at that guy, right in your chest. Ow. That's what you get for having a racist name that I don't approve of. And this was okay, so look, I see that guy going all the way up, so I said, Enjoy your C4, Mr. Carl. Boom! Oh man. 
And the thing was that I don't know why we went for A first because going for A first is really not a logical. It's not really the smartest thing. I thought that guy was about to kill me, but he's having some kind of seizure on the ladder. But somebody spotted him. Give me your sandwich. But there's a bit of a sob story up here because I go up here, I think I'm going to get a double kill, but there's nobody up here. And I eventually just get owned. Absolutely owned through a, through a set of blocks. It's like, oh yeah, bro, bro, clearly bullets now shoot through concrete blocks because POW! Oh man. Oh, it's another false alarm because I ate some brownies, but the brownies are not the cause of these burps. It's something else, but I can't recall what it was, which is moderately alarming. Oh man, but sometimes, you know what, sometimes teams, they just have this sense about them like, uh, we're gonna stick around your spawn, we're gonna be catfish, so forth, pow! You see, I didn't even hit that guy, he was already around the corner, oh, the other guy in the face, ouch! That too much just hurts severely, but sometimes you just gotta go up into the face of the enemy and just say, cause I'm not face, I'm making juice, and, oh, right in the face yet again, but I don't know why, I don't know why people ever choose to go on matted guns that aren't shielded because it's just asking you a shot in the face but check this out are you ready are you ready i don't think you're ready this guy with the racist name pow right in the kisser but did i shoot him through the ceiling or did i shoot him through the floor why don't you let that one marinate in your brain too it's just on oh, no scope oh buddy ouch and eventually I just ran up the stairs and got shot in the face because I didn't think, I was not banking on either one of them getting revived, but they just happened to get revived. So I guess the joke's on me. And yes, I just did commit suicide by running into a... Why do they have those in first-person shooters? I don't understand that. It's like, oh yeah, bruh, bruh. No, no, bruh, come here, come here, come here. Let's put all of these barrels in really, really frequent locations so that people arbitrarily just blow themselves up. There's the one-two method, and pow, right in the kisser. Stop being such a water monster, and you're ready. Wesley? Snipes. Oh, man. But I saw this little trickster coming around the corner. I said, good morning, Carl. I'm going to follow you all the way up, and boom, right in your pooper. Ouch. Ouch. That's that's the same guy with a racist name that I can just not handle. I, it wasn't so much that I couldn't handle his racist name. It's just somehow he was also a Carl at the same time, so it really made my job a lot easier. And yet again, it took us forever, and look, look at that guy spamming nades from the back of our spawn. He was way back, he wasn't even close to B, it's one of the catfish that was all over this team. And you ready? Boom! Oh man. Smoking aces 1990, well you won't be smoking any more aces, seeing as I just shot you in the face. But I see there's two more around the corner here, so I'm going to use my lead hacks, and I'm going to get up on this ladder. And this ladder is super nifty because it gives me the advantage of height. Oh, I'm going to get that guy. Clearly a chest shot, not a headshot, nothing prestigious, but this guy thinks he's going to get me, but secretly the joke's on him because I'm going to shoot him in the face. Oh, man. Oh, finally a nemesis pin on that guy. That guy, I couldn't tell because I think he was using it 12 times and he's trying to quick scope with it, but I don't think it was working out very well. I somehow got that guy as he got me. That C4 was not even close to him. I don't know how that works. It's like magnets. I don't know how it works, but... This last set of objectives was fairly simple because our team actually armed the objective right away. The other times it would be like, I don't know how I didn't knife that guy. It's so frustrating sometimes. Like clearly I just, sh I shoved that thing right in your face and then blood came out of your face. But somehow you didn't die. But that is all that I have for you guys. The bonus clip is a flying bush monster. I will see you guys next time. Outfeeder Zane and Bisbalt.